Hey guys, what's up? This is Twisted Corners, and today's video, we're going to be learning how to do the orientation of the last layer. So basically what the orientation of the last layer is, is when you complete the entire yellow face. So as you can see here, I've completed the entire yellow face, thereby orienting the entire last layer. So the next step would be to solve this entire top band. There are two steps to orienting the last layer. The first step is to orient all the edges. Then you orient the corners, and that results in a fully oriented last layer. So solving the edges means you have to make a cross on the top face. So look at only these four pieces. There are three combinations you can have. Either there will be a line, a hook, or a dot. So I need to show you one algorithm, and using that algorithm, you can solve all of the edges. So, for example, if you get a dot, you will use that algorithm to turn it into a hook. And after you turn it into a hook, then you'll use the algorithm again to turn it into a line. And if you get a line, then I'll use the algorithm again to turn it into a fully solved cross. So, if you get a dot, the algorithm is this. F R U R prime U prime F prime and as you can see we got a hook now so we're not worried about these pieces because they are um, at, not edge pieces the corner pieces and so we only care about these four pieces and the center piece now if you get the hook to start with or you just did the algorithm to turn it into a hook then you're gonna hold it so that the hook is like this in the top left so now, you use the same algorithm again. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And as you can see, that got us the bar. So similarly, if you start off with the bar, or if you just did the algorithm to change from the hook to the bar, or something like that, whenever you see the bar, you're going to hold it horizontally and use the same algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And see, that solved the cross. Now you're going to look at the number of unsolved corner pieces on top. So, the corner pieces are these four pieces in the corners. So, in this case, zero are unsolved. Because all of them are solved. And that means the step is done. So, there could be two unsolved as well. You will never get a case where one is unsolved. Or else a corner is flipped and your cube is not set accurately and is impossible to solve. So if you get two unsolved, then you're going to hold it so that there is one. We're going to look at the top bar right here and we're going to hold it so that there always is one on the left as you're going to apply the soon, which is R U R prime U R U two R prime. No matter what, if you get two unsolved, and you will notice that we have just one that is solved and that's what you want so if you already start out with one that is solved you can completely ignore this step if there are, there are four that are unsolved then you hold it so that no yellow is on the left and you do the same algorithm r u r prime u r u 2 r prime and as you can see that made it so that there's one here and three that are unsolved so once you get it so that one is solved and three are unsolved you're going to hold the one that's solved on the left and you're going to use this algorithm again so you'll either have to do that once or twice if it doesn't work the first time then do it again so that the dot is still right here and then do it again and then it should solve your cube Thanks for watching guys and be sure to continue on to the next part which is the permutation of the last layer.